So here we're looking at the iterated integrals for computation. So to get us started, we want to make a little love note here to ourselves that the following two forms are equivalent, but I want you to please be mindful of order. And we want to be careful of what are we integrating with respect to because we, the bounds will change with each variable. So case one here, let's look at using the order dx dy. So this is going to be equivalent to the integral from c to d, and we have the integral from a to b of f of x, y, dx, dy. And so here we want to make a little love note to ourselves that the integral with respect to x is what we call the inner integral. So the bounds and the, the differentials need to match here. So when you are evaluating a double integral using order dx dy, we evaluate with respect to x first, and I'm going to abbreviate with respect to x first, and you will hold y constant or hold y fixed, just like with partial derivatives. And after you're done evaluating, then we will integrate with respect to y. Now alternatively, we could use the order dy dx. And so here this is equivalent to the double integral from a to b, the integral from c to d of f of x y dy dx. And so just as we saw in case one, since we're using the order dy dx, this portion here on the inside is our inner integral. So in case two, here we evaluate with respect to y first, and we hold x fixed. So again, just like you do with partial derivatives, after you finish evaluating with respect to y, only then do you integrate with respect to x.